John, Huskies are back at Gamble Pavilion for the first time in more than a month as they welcome in North Florida out of the Atlantic Sun Conference and all the action coming your way right here on SNY. This 100th win last time we were on the air, Tim, against Boston University, Wajid Aminu in the visiting blue uniforms, and Kenton Facey for UConn in the home white drop uh, jumping center, and it's Connecticut that comes down with it in the hands of Jalen Adams. Well, Banks has shown that he has ability to make that jump hook, and Brimer going right back at him with his own move on the box. Kenton Facey, foul line jumper. That's a really soft touch right there by Kenton Facey. He's got four early points. And Aminu, the freshman, giving it up to fellow freshman Garrett Sands. And Amina Brima would have none of it. Swatting it out of bounds, his first block of the day. Out of the game because of the fact that they want to talk to him about some of his low post defense on his own man. And three blocks per game on the season. That's tops in the American Conference, very soft baby hook by Stephen Enoch. And going through this Connecticut team, Kenton Facey was not feeling well at the Garden against Syracuse. Little left hand hook inside. And look at Enoch, the ability, Tim, to go to the offhand. I wasn't oh, born then. My goodness gracious, I was <laughs> just a pup. Beautiful feed inside. Brima finishing off the feed from Jalen Adams. The bucket and the foul. He's got a chance at a conventional three-point play. Well, I like the way Connecticut's come out of the locker room today. They are very focused. They're locked in on their preparation patient on the offensive end, really moving the ball, probing the defense, and making the extra pass. Hey, young man. That is the first bucket of the game for Dallas Moore. Christian Vital, nothing but nylon, and that's a really good sign for Connecticut at 16. You better get up on his left hand because he will pull it fast. And back the other way. Christian Vital, anything you can do, I can do just as well. And Hartford, but early on, both teams locking in. First going inside, now loosening up from the perimeter. Get the urgency, you never fail. He said that's exactly what UNF stands for. Gary. Facey putting it up there for Amita Brima. This is what Connecticut loves to do against the zone. And here again, going right into that foul line area. And when North Florida doesn't come up, they don't commit to the middle. They don't commit to the back. They're in... I'm in no man's land. They throw it right over the top. In Dallas Moore's face as Banks comes up short. Here comes Adams on the run all the way to the 10. And it falls. And Connecticut has opened up a seven-point lead. He's going to go and then lost in the conference tournament semifinals. Facey's cut off but fades away. Really, that's a nice soft touch at the rim in life. Get it back together. There's no doubt. And just a... A good teammate as well. I talk to everyone around the program. They're just really happy that he's having a good year. Christian Patel attacking the ten, and man, he's been terrific off the bench so far. Coming up on 7:20 to go in the first half. There's Adams off the bounce, and that's a silky smooth jumper by Jalen Adams, who's got four points. Good spacing, going inside outside. Adams putting it up for Brima, and that's the third now, the third LU dunk for Amita Brima on the day. It can knock it down. Sams is two of two from beyond the arc as Jalen Adams back the other way, kissing in off the window. Talk about Jalen Adams at the beginning of this year was not slated to play the point guard spot, but with the injury to Gibson, he has had to play the point guard, and that's what he is right now, and he is learning how to run the team and still score and get his own when he needs to. Patel putting it on the deck into the land of the Giants. And finishing off the offensive glass is the fellow freshman, Jawan Durham. Connecticut. Kenton Facey, beautiful body control and finishing at the 10. Uh, we're seeing Kenton Facey make that feathery jump shot from the high post. Now putting the ball on the floor from the baseline. Just great delivery from Adams. Just learning how to be an effective point guard running the team, finding the open man. Attacking. Has it rejected, but off the offensive glass there, Stephen Enoch at the buzzer. Thought it trails it just by three. Kenton Facey, little teardrop in the lane, nothing but nylon for Kenton Facey. I'm trying to work on the middle of that North Florida zone off the bounce. Don't see it that often, but Vance Jackson, the ability to put it on the deck and finish. Three wheel down in the box, and he's made a few of those little jump hooks. They've got to put more pressure on him. Tough shot in the lane. Jalen Adams dipping under. Lane 
It's Banks, and it's rejected. It was Enoch and Facey. They both got a piece of it. Facey, one dribble, and a soft touch. Hanging around. Rodney Purvis spotting Vital. Boy, beautiful move between defenders and then finishing at the rim. The freshman, Christian Vital, he went to the floor with Dallas Moore. Well, Vital, you see, he just finds a way to pump fake, splits the two defenders, oh. then in traffic. Great body control. Get up the game now for Nick Malonga to cut the lead back to five. Jackson inside of Facey, who rises up and sends it down. Beautiful two-man game. Well, this is just a set play. They swing the wings through, and then they pin down, a little pin down screen. And on a good screen, the guy that's usually open the most is the screener. And they're facing just a little rub screen. And you see Od yet to score, Enoch. Purvis, again, there's Rodney Purvis. Finally gets one to go. Sort of off balance, but have to pay better attention to the three-point line. Ill-advised by Nick Malunga, Enoch would have none of it but it's going to stay with the Ospreys. Well, good team defense in here. Well, paying attention to Dallas Moore. Rodney Purvis, little up fake. Boy, that's good rhythm. Rodney Purvis. Well, Florida playing a little matchup zone at the top. A little one, two, two. Rodney Purvis, high arcing jump shot. Now Rodney Purvis is beginning to feel it. Has to Get open, set some screens, or set some screens for more. Kamita Grima up at the rim, slams down another off the feed from Jalen Adams. They were right on the same page. Well, and they've done this numerous times, whether it's man or zone. They love this play. It's just a simple little back screen, and they don't even set the screen because North Florida does not rotate on the backside. Kamita Brima now into double figures with 11. A Christmas cookie, <laughs> Gary, so maybe one day we'll be close enough. He is an Iona graduate, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> we can have Connecticut a comfortable 17-point lead as Amita Brima comes from the weak side and swats Garrett Sam shot into the front row with, I believe, two hands. So Connecticut, it's been a kind of a free-flowing game. Purvis giving it up to Adams. 15-footer, nothing but nylon for Jalen Adams. You know, listen, you saw those smiles on the Connecticut bench as time expires right here as UConn gets the win 80-59. to 59, and